Hi guys, this is Jason Zak from Nathaniel School of Music. I am super excited to share with you in this lesson five Michael Jackson riffs. If you don't know Michael Jackson, the king of pop, come on, where are you? Which planet are you on? Go and listen to these songs right away if you haven't already. But I'm sure I get a feeling you have. So we are going to cover five of his classics, but not to necessarily teach you how to play the melody line of the songs. This I have curated as a piano exercise to digest the riffs or the bass lines or the guitar phrases which make the songs really, really catchy. Or, right, those sort of things we are going to play on the piano. So this will be great if you are accompanying yourself or playing with a band or showing this off with your friends and family or may maybe making another YouTube video of your own and you should share that with me. We are available on Instagram. We are available on YouTube. You can write to us. As I said, I'm from Nathaniel School of Music. We are a nice community of musicians. So what we are going to do with the Jackson songs is I'm going to show you the riff first, which I'll try and play with both hands. And I would ex encourage you to do so. After that, the right hand is going to play the chords as well as the chord pattern of the songs. And... That's pretty much it. The chord pattern would be what's there in the actual song, which you might find. And the left hand will be the riff. So in a sense, you're following two instruments on as one human being on the piano. So you're following probably the bass guitar player in the left hand, the guitar player in the right hand, or the keyboard player in the right hand, or some chord pattern player in the right hand. So let's get cracking. The first one I have for you is Beat It. So Beat It is on the E flat minor key. So here's how it goes, something like this. Okay. So the chords are, that's E flat minor first, and D flat major. It repeats, back to D flat. In fact, that's the first thing you could do. You could play the chords in your right hand while the bass line is happening in the left hand. Let's get the fingering correctly for this riff. And first of all, we are starting at the at a pickup. We are not starting at the one of the bar. So one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one and two and three. You can see the notation. It's there for all the five riffs which I'm going to share with you. One and so starting at the end of the four. One and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and, and always the end. One and two and it's good to count one, two, three, four and then do one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one and two and three four and one and two and three and and one and two and three and four. So we start on E flat, E flat, G flat or F sharp, B flat, skip to G flat or F sharp, come back to the octave. Let's get that first. And two and three and four and one and two and three and four. Now your thumbs right here. Thumb index middle middle. First you hit first bar, you hit the middle finger twice. Second time, you hit D flat just once and that's the riff. So I'll just support it with the chords. Try to play along with me. A few staccatos along the way. Staccato. So maybe let's keep all the C sharps or D flat staccato pretty much like how it is in the song. Two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one and two and three and again. Again. Could also play the same riff with both your hands. 
And I like this. This hammer on kind of sounds nice to me. Use your ring to jump in the right hand. If you can get the hammer on or the glide. Okay. Uh, the other option is yeah, as I said, you could play chords. On the right hand, what will really be the icing on the cake and more push your hand independence to the next levels would be if you can maintain a nice pulse of the two chords. So E flat minor, this is how I'm playing it. I'm playing it in the second inversion. I think that's what I'm hearing in the song. B flat, E flat, G flat, and then A flat, D flat, F, staccato. With the riff, three and four. <clears throat> Remember to start at the end of the four in the left hand. That's the challenge. Left hand needs to now play the riff. Coming up, one now. Um. <clears throat> Try to sing, uh, but at least the riff. That'll help you stay in time very slowly. And since the song's dividing the beat by by two, actually, and then two, try to keep that one and two and three and four and in the head right so that was beat it let's now move forward to probably a more famous song or i don't really know which one's more famous they're all equally famous i guess billy jean let's do it so billy jeans on the f sharp minor scale a relative of a major so it has three sharps f sharp g sharp and c sharp so the the bass riff will basically be this, this is what I'm hearing in the tape. There's like an F sharp with an F sharp octave. Of course, this is all probably done with synthesizers and a bunch of other production elements. So we're hearing like this deep F sharp with the riff. The riff is basically ta na 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 that's the loop. F sharp, C sharp, E, F sharp, E, C sharp, B, C sharp. But I like to play it with a combo. I could go the lower F sharp, C sharp, thumb, cross your index finger. It's quite easy to play. You can cross your index or your middle. Pum 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 cherum pum 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 chum parin cherum pum 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 chum. If or you can stab the octave together. Try this way. Copy in the right. In the right, I would cross my, I would stretch out my thumb and index finger slightly. That will allow me to play this F sharp with the ring finger. No need of pinky in the right hand. Billy Jean is not my lover. Sing along. Nice finger exercise, actually. If you think about it, this is on the F sharp minor pentatonic. I don't want to just leave you with this. Remember, in, in the song, there's a nice do, do, cha, do, do. That synth part is there, right? So the chords in the right hand will be F sharp minor, G sharp minor, A major, and G sharp minor. But they'll all be with an F sharp bass. So all staccatos, but 
the timing is cool 1 and 2 and 3 and 4 and 1 and 2 and and try to keep it staccato 1 and 2 and 3 and so the on of the one the on of the bar one of the bar 1 and 2 and in between 2 and 3 you have your and again we're dividing by 2 1 and 2 and 3 get this going maybe try to snap on the two pum 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 then start singing the riff and pum 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 and whenever you're ready slow it down and go playing a bass line with with the chords in the right hand or anything in the right hand i think is the best feeling you will get on the piano uh, it it beats i think it beats melodies there with arpeggios there of course it's just what i think but it's a lot of fun trust me so get this going if uh, you need to work this hard slow it down don't forget the fingering of the left hand mm ti du du pa ti pa tum pa tum pa tin ta ri pa tum pa tum pa ri pa rum pa tum pa and i'm teaching you these songs on their original scales you could play along with the track later after watching the video this is billy jean green play together okay all the best with that now let's move forward to song number 3 remember these are five of the best or the top mj riffs you'll find the next one you have is smooth criminal i'm sure you would have heard that again very very popular and what happens with smooth criminal is very similar to what he does in beat it at the end of the four you're going to start first off we are in the key of b flat minor which is de- a derivative of d flat major five flats okay so you'll go the riff is something like this Teri bum bum, teri dum. Almost whatever Michael Jackson is singing. Dum dum, teri dum dum, chuk teri dum dum, teri dum bum chuk bum. Dum dum, teri dum dum, teri dum dum, teri dum dum, chuk dum chuk dum dum, teri dum dum, chuk teri dum dum, teri teri dum chuk dum. Okay, let's break down the riff. One E starting on B flat at the end of the four. So one and two. and you need to count 16 notes because the beats get divided into 16s that's 1e and a 2e and you so you'll find some notes at the e's and the ers of the bar so let's break it down starting at the end of the four 1 and 2 and 3 and 4 and 1 and so two ends end of the four end of the one then 2 and 3 and 4 and 1 and 2e and a 3e and a wait and a 1e and a 2e and a 3e and a 4e and okay pum 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 pere rum pum chik para bum pum chik para rum pum chik tum tum pum pere rum pum chik tere rum pum tere rum pum and chik pum pum tere rum tum chik tere rum tum chik tere rum pum chik pum pam pam pare dum pam chik tere dum pum tere dum pam chik that's the riff you can play it with both hands it's quite easy da 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 de 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 just these b flat c d flat and then coming to the minor 7th a flat so sa 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 ni sa re re sa re ga 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 re ni sa pam pam pare ram pam chik pare bam what i've also done with these riffs is i've handwritten a grid where you will find exactly where the hit points are i've circled it so this is over two bars of information and two and three and four and one and two and three and pam pam and tere dum pam chik 
boom sometimes it's tough to say the numbers while playing even i find that tricky so rely on my uh, notes on patreon you're going to get the notation of all these five riffs and you're also going to get my handwritten notes where i circle all the divisions and any other information regarding the song theoretically of course chords and inversions all of that is waiting for you on patreon if you'd like to supplement the learning so now coming to the chords the chords would basically be tan tan tararan tan tararan tan tararan tan tan first off b flat minor tan tararan tan that's c minor tararan tan that's d flat major tararan come back to c minor jackson prefers this chord progression i i get the feeling tan tararan tan tararan tan tararan tan tan so i'm playing b flat minor in its first inversion d flat f and b flat tam chage baga c minor tere d flat tere c minor and back pom tam tege dum tam c minor re dum tum tere de de dum chuk tum chuk tum tan chuk tum tum chuk tere dum tum tere dum chum chuk tum chuk tum tan chuk tum tum tere dum with the bass coming up now tam So I'm playing this pretty much as minims in other words every two beats and then I'm changing the chord. 1 2 and 3 at the 1 and the 3 of the bar. Now if you want to kind of play it exactly at the 1 you could do that otherwise you could line it up with the first note you're playing in the left hand which is B flat. Pum pum now on the beat. Da da D flat, da da dum dum, and off. Pum pum, ti di dum dum, ti ka di di dum dum, ti ka di di dum pum, ti ka dum dum dum, ti ka dum dum, ti ka du ka dum dum, ti ka di di du ka dum, ti ka dum ti ka dum, da ti ka dum dum, ti ka di di dum dum, and dum dum. we will talk about the rest of the song shortly in another video do leave us a comment if you want us to so the final hurdle with smooth criminal would be to play the chords as pulses like what we did with the other songs so 3 now you're like in a stage ready way version you could say recommend you to play smooth criminal on the piano of all instruments because there's no piano i think in any of these three songs so far including the remaining two if i'm not mistaken so let's journey forward and the fourth song i have for you is the incredible song given to me which among all my michael jackson songs i think that is my favorite maybe along with dirty diana you should check out given to me and dirty diana all these are incredible songs so given to me i have this hybrid arrangement where you will play both the guitar part as well as the bass part so let's check it out you can first maybe uh focus only on the left hand and first off the chords in the right hand are tan ta ra 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 it's on e minor E minor is derived from the G major scale. I keep saying derived because Michael Jackson is preferring the minors in most of his songs and so it makes them sound really give gives us that emotion I guess. So E minor is very same as G major, same notes. The relative minor would be the 6th degree from the major. So E minor The chords used are E minor a c major a d major na 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 c major na na give it to me give it to me na 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 c major d major so now we get that riff with the chords
okay so let's break that down very easy on the counting front is just eighth notes 1 and 2 and 3 and 4 and all that's a super glamorous way of playing e minor we use eighth notes it's a beautiful pattern that's 1 5 octave crossover probably your middle finger on the ninth or the second interval up top f sharp minor third g and then we come back a b e f sharp g f sharp e b okay now we need to come to c after that so i have designed it fingering wise end with the pinky save your ring for c C major, not really C major. It's more like a C sus two. It's a beautiful chord. D major with a major third and a sus four. You could call it a D D major add four. C sus two, D add four. That's the pattern. and if you observe the notes are ringing that's because i'm holding down my pedal that's the secret see without the pedal doesn't sound so bad doesn't have that bite there we go now you could also kind of comp this if you want if you want some low notes you can play e and c together so if you want more bite or if you want more depth in your performance you can play octaves of the chord roots whenever they land e is not needed but for c c d anyway your pedal is held but you need to lift the your pedal lift off the pedal before the c and before the d because you can't collide all the notes right it's going to sound very weird there we go so you need if you're not able to get the pedal control just do it the way i taught you earlier which is that's more than enough with pedal c octave you need to immediately jump your hand D jump again. And again. Okay. That's the riff and coming to the uh, right hand. Uh, I have two options for you in the right hand. One is just some simple chords. The other thing would be to actually play the same melody but in a slightly different way. Check this out. So it's almost the same but it's the tune which Michael Jackson is singing. Na 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 na. And then a small variation. Na 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 a 16th note. Na 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 The second bar is one e and a two e and a three, almost like a tresio there. One e and a. So the left hand is going to do a lot of independence with the right hand, and the first bar is almost the same except you knock off the one. Let the one be just for the bass. Let's do that. pretty much the same except that we don't play the one and then the next time it repeats you're you're anticipating that g by playing it in the 16th note prior so normal melody anticipated and i hear michael jackson singing both versions so i just thought it's good to learn both in the treble and then so the 
left hand's going D F sharp. Ta re di tim, ta re ta re di tim. With the right. If you want that octave, whole thing. Or you could just stick with chords as well. And I like to play C major like this. It's a nice open sound. E G D. You can see the notation. It's given there. Nice cluster chord used a lot in gospel music. Okay. Let's do that again. all together slightly slower so that's given to me so i have saved the easiest for last and i guess the coolest of them all bad by mj again so the riff is super easy let's first get that So I think that the the entire song is on the A blues vibe. So you could fool around with A minor blues. But the overall bigger picture scale I think would end up being the A Dorian scale, which is a major scale with a flat 3 and a flat 7. Leave the 6 as major 6. So the chords are la ra re ra ra ta ra re ra ra ru ru re ra ra ta re that's a minor d major a minor d major I'm bad I'm bad I'm really really bad na 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 Played with two hands. That's A, C, D, D sharp, E, also known as E flat. So then, in terms of intervals, root, minor third, perfect fourth, tritone, perfect fifth. Pa 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 pa. In the second bar, you kind of delay that A or the starting root a little bit. Pare ra ra, pare re ra ra, pum 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 pa ra, de re re re. And in the song, they do something like. You can do that. So what am I doing? The right hand. One, two, three, four. One, two, four. One. Two, three. Basically, at the two and the three, you're playing G with C, F sharp with C. Two, three. Little bit of independence because you're starting only at the, you're playing only at the two and the three, right? Slow it down, and then bring it back. Wise if you. Okay, so these are the five MJ songs for you. I hope you have fun learning all of them. Uh, try to maybe use our chapter markers to kind of show you exactly where. each song is that may be helpful it's in the description if you like to learn more songs by 
you know the best of the best artists where i dissect them explain to you the intervals where the hits are why they did what they did hopefully we've put a playlist for you in the description it's called play great songs on piano so you could check that out it kind of historically shows you whatever we've done in the past and whatever we are going to continue to do and to help you learn the lesson there's midi and there's notation waiting for you on patreon and if you are also a guitar player or a bass player i have demonstrated the same michael jackson riffs on the bass guitar so you could learn it if you play the strings so do head over to uh, another video which we link up in the description if you would like to learn all these five riffs from a guitar slash bass perspective right guys again this is jason zack from nathaniel hope you had fun watching the video and if you like the lesson do consider hitting the like button leaving us a comment and don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already and hit that bell cheers and catch you in the next one